Hi everyone. So we'll continue the memory management, right? In the previous video, we have discussed about uh, how OS will be uh, moved from secondary memory to main memory, then how how uh, the remaining portion will be occupied by the processes, right? Okay. So now you need to understand that this is your main memory, right? This is your main memory. So there are two different portions are available, right? One portion will be occupied by the operating system, and the remaining portion may be used for the process execution. Right now, the how the process may be executed. So for process execution, some memory space will be allocated for the particular process by the operating system. Right now, you need to understand that these are the number of processes. Each process may require some of the memory locations. So just understand that here, I'm just mentioning that uh, process one may request 50 memory locations. Then process two may request 100 memory locations. Then process 3 may request 60 memory locations. Process 4 may request 150 locations. Just for understanding, I'm just mentioning it a uh, uh, memory locations, right? Okay. So now here, if the process 1 gets the execution, right, by the operating system at that time, so operating system will allocate one portion for the process 1, that is for 50. Right? You just uh, understand that here the total number of locations are 300 if I am mentioning that like this one right okay I am just considering that 300 locations are there so 50 locations are allocated for process 1 then again second process is coming for second process again operating system allows so now second process also gets the allocation that is process 2 that 100 locations are occupied by your uh, process 2 right now third process is coming again the operating system verifies that whether the uh, space is there or not. Yes, the space is there. Operating system allows. Now here, process 3 also gets the execution. So now here 60. Now you just understand that here, what is the total number here? Total number of locations are 300. So process 1 occupies 50, process 2 occupies 100, process 3 occupies 60. Total 210 locations are occupied. Right? So remaining is what? Only 90 locations are remaining. But for process 4, how much locations are required? 150 locations are required. Right. Now, you just understand that here 90, loca 90 locations are free, but required is 150. At this point of time, your process may not be, this particular process may not be allocated by the operating system. So meanwhile, you just understand that meanwhile, so if the process 2 is completed the execution, right? So now how, how much locations are free? Now 100 locations are free now, right? So now you just check that total is 190 locations are free now, is right? But what is the requirement for P4? So P4, how many locations are required? 150 locations are required. So now this 150, yes, 150 locations can be managed by 190 locations, right? But the problem is here, this look this allocation process execution requires the contiguous memory that is the memory need to be continuous location number one to location number 150 need to be continuous this is required okay so uh, because of this you need this the contiguous memory this is called contiguous memory locations right okay now here you need to understand that the required number of memory locations are available but these locations are non-contiguous right it's not continuous that's why your operating system may not allocate these memory space to the particular process this is the problem with contiguous memory locations is it right even though here we will discuss uh, one more uh, uh, video that is what kind of difficulty exact what what, are, what is the difficulty like that we will discuss right so here we need to understand that if the process want to be or the process need to be executed by the operating system, if the process requires 150 memory location, then surely this 150 locations need to be continuous. That's a contiguous memory is required for process execution.